Hello everyone, and welcome back to our new village of Uphill Both Ways, where we are beginning a new journey through the Dotage Empire with our wonderful new elder, a shaman, who's apparently so far been extremely friendly to everybody, including her people. But hey, we haven't had to have any prophecies of doom, death, and destruction yet. So maybe she's going to have to like crack the whip once, you know, things actually start looking a little bit more dire. But right now, things are going pretty well. We're surrounded by adorable little bunnies. We have got a couple new babies born into the village. We've got a whole bunch of fertile ground just waiting for us to put seeds in once we figure that out. In fact, when can we put seeds in? I better check that. <laughs> so I think we're gonna need the field collector first and then we're definitely going to want to like research planting things it looks like we can plant carrots and we can plant tomatoes probably the carrots so that we can go ahead and actually get the rabbit hutch going and then we can go ahead and get the wool from the rabbits also does the rabbit hutch let us do eggs or do we need to like have a chicken coop I don't see any chickens actually, but maybe we can attract some without like needing, wow, there's a lot of bunnies, <laughs> without needing to worry too much about it. But I'm quite intrigued. We are after all going to be facing a 150% difficulty struggle, uh, just to, you know, clarify things, versus the 50% that we did in the village of Are We There You? So things should become quite challenging. But thus far, it's all just hunky-dory and nice, and I'm gonna double check that we've named everybody. Yep, your local girl, Lord Thunder, Marshmid, Ginger Fury, Diner Dave. Excellent, excellent. Oh, that's because we don't have any of the new babies that we're aiming for yet. Okay, we might add into the village in just a second. Because I think having more researchers would really help us out. And that makes you a druid, like Lord Thunder. And once you become a druid, in fact, does it even tell us like druid? Because that would be kind of cool. All right, let's see. VIPs, resources, jobs. There we go. Druid! These pips covered their heads with herbs and hemp and talked about nature at every opportunity. So it is indeed a profession. And I don't know how much work our druids could do outside of being druids. So, hmm. We'll go ahead and we will have Ginger Fury and Dino Dave welcome in a new child to our our like lands. And meanwhile, Marshmidge shall gather from these plums of plenty. They're plums of plenty right now, but I actually think perhaps soon we will be calling those the plums of prophecy, just like we had the apocalypse apples. So let us carry on. Yay, new babu. Though I'm really worried about the fact that the tents can only be built out of leather because the only place I know to get leather right now is the bunnies. Hello, little child. We'll go ahead and we'll give you one of the sacred Patreon names uh, in just a little bit here. It's unlucky to leave them without such a name to protect them. Oh, geez, four days to grow up. Oh, man, I really got spoiled at the fact that we had the boon of healthy children in the village of Are We There You? So it took like two days for them to grow up. <laughs> That spoiled me. Ugh, that's okay. Well, I guess that just is more points in the favor of actually like going ahead and making sure we have lots of babies. And now we have a whisper in the wind. Okay, whisper in, huh, okay. Whisper wind, there we go. <laughs> and whisper in the wind, thank you so much for being one of the patrons who makes it possible for me to have the oranges of, um, Oranges of, of, uh, let's see, what's a good, <laughs> the oranges of, um, opportunity in the morning for breakfast every day. <laughs> I had to really give that one a think to try to like work through it. That's really fun. Uh, all right, let's add another new pipling to the pile because why not? We are collecting, we'll need to collect a little bit more food soon, but I think better to get them like growing up now then to kind of be like twiddling our thumbs later. Yay! Talk about a baby boom. Dino Dave, Ginger Fury, like, you're gonna end up with like triplets before this is done. <laughs> Hopefully they will they will be very happy. And seriously, a whisper in the wind, thank you. It means the world to me to be able to keep these adventures going. And with your guys' support, 
Oh, it creates that safety net where I don't have to completely freak out. And instead, I can focus on naming Kit Kat Nat. <gasps> Welcome back. I remember you in our last village, and hopefully you won't have any uh, issues with any kind of consumption this time. <laughs> but we will have to go ahead and see. Let's see. And we have three leather left. I am a little nervous about that. But let's actually expand... Let's expand over here. We don't want to plant on the fertile terrain because that's going to be super useful. But I like how we're expanding the village territory every time we put down a tent. So while we need to, maybe it is worth it to go ahead and try to like just expand far enough that we encompass as many of the resource spots as we can reach. We do have a few fish spots researched as well. Hmm. All right, carry on everyone, carry on. We have added another tent to our, our supplies. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's an event already? <gasps> but we don't even have like the domains or the elements showing up yet. That's so cute. Oh, good wishes. What a charming little village. Everybody is just being super supportive and kind to each other. I'm sure any second now, the poor elder is going to wake up and she's going to discover we have a curse upon us. Because we do have a curse upon us, but so far everything's been good. Huh. Well then, let us go ahead and carry on. We probably only want to get one more or maybe two more children in this village before. Yeah, we'll do this. I think that's a good idea. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, because we're gonna run out of plums eventually, but we'll work on gathering some plums. And I think, is that all of the adults busy? You're a local girl, we're, what are you doing? Are you building? Oh, you're, you're building a new place. And we have another new babu. No, we don't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we're going to have another new babu at some point, but we'll put the tents down for now. Yay! Now we can have the larger of the research totems, or I should call them, like, the face totems? What are they called? That's just the tall totem. That's kind of boring. Maybe the totems of wisdom. Yay, we finished researching it. Stacking wooden heads was an old tradition that we respected. They looked good, didn't they? And that will help us produce even more druids to produce more knowledge for this extremely peaceful, plum-loving society that will never have anything bad ever happen to it, right? And then, ooh, plus, okay, a boost for each animal terrain within one. Where? This one's going to be really good. And within one, unfortunately, won't include these. So we will upgrade this totem, and then we should be able to get a good boost there. And none of the, well, maybe for each animal, maybe we'll be able to move another one of the totems over here, because I wonder if the fish count. Fish you count as animals, if you ask me, but perhaps I should go ahead and double check that just to be sure. Let's see. For each animal. So, are fish considered? I mean, there's fish under creatures, so I can only assume they're considered animals. Um, and I think perhaps it would be a good idea to begin thinking about things like having plenty of food. So maybe I should have everybody research the field collection before we go ahead and carry on with getting the totems to be bigger. <laughs> Just maybe that's a good idea now that we have so many like new babies in the village to tend to. Yay! And there's the tall totem! All right, let's get this one upgraded because that one's probably going to be awesome. And then we'll build another one over here because I'm pretty sure that it'll get a boost from these two animals. And then, let's see, anybody available for that? Nope, the kids are still so little. I'm not used to having them be so little for so long. All right, if you don't mind, Dino Dave, we are going to try to make even better totems. And we are don't need to gather as many plums. Cool. Ginger Fairy, Mars Midge, if you don't mind, let's add to the village then, because it takes many days for the children to grow. Excellent. See? Peaceful, calm. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We don't need to worry whatsoever about death, I guess. <laughs> In fact, our village, they're eating delicious plums of plenty and wishing each other well for their health. 
and I'm really side-eyeing this. Oh, here we go! <laughs> whoa! Okay, whoa! <laughs> Hunker down, little bunnies! Hunker down! She saw a warning from the spirits of the land. Get ready for it, kiddos. The spirits of the land have shown me that the world is out of balance and that we must work together to restore it. Have the spirits forsaken us? Do not despair, my companions. We are in this place for a reason and we have been given a great responsibility to eat plenty of plums. Let me tell you about my prophecy. And now they are the plums of prophecy. According to what I saw, we will encounter many events in the near future. So... We were on easy last time. Now we're on hard. What does it look like? I th I, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay about this right now. And a doom event awaits us at the end. We must prepare for it. Oh, <laughs> I think that we can probably manage this just fine. So we need to worry about heat in a little bit here. Um, Like, actually heat a lot of it there. You said we'd find a new life here. My friend, do not be quick to judge. The dooms ahead will be difficult, but we must face them with courage and determination. Now that you know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. Oh, are they fearful now? I'm keeping an eye on things. I see. I see we have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. The first one begins. Okay, so now we already have the hope and fear, and now we have uh, heat and cold, and we need to work on getting some cold, basically ASAP. <laughs> so let's come over and we're gonna make sure that we can start researching more. Uh, and then, I guess this one doesn't count as being within our territory yet. We'll have to work on that. And then we'll have somebody come over. Marsh, you're gonna come over and become one of our druids as well. We'll get you training so that you'll be ready for the big one uh, tomorrow. And then we have a new little babu. <laughs> All right, well, the prophecies are beginning to be delivered. Pseudo fishy. Let's see. There we are, pseudo fishy. I hope you are prepared. For I don't know how difficult, or should I say plum paired, <laughs> I don't know how difficult life in this village might become, but we are going to do our best to survive and spread our influence throughout the lands. I wonder, maybe I should put a house like over here just so we can like cover this zone. But at the same time, now nah, putting one here where we can reach so much forest and bunnies, probably a good idea. So we'll get the last of our leather put out, kind of to spread the territory we can reach. And we'll gather some more wood and keep an eye on the plums. And hopefully we'll be able to research a fan. We might need to get more like wood stuff down soon too. Yay, Marsh, you're also a druid, see? We're just gonna pull together like the group's wisdom. Everything's gonna be fine. We don't need to worry about like monsters coming out of the forest, even if we have discovered the concept of monsters. Uh, let's see. And Marshmidge, you're gonna come over. Huzzah, look at that. We're gonna be able to start working on field collecting in no time. Let's see. And then we have our wood being gathered. And then wood stack, large tent, tall totems. Maybe we'll gather more wood for now. And tentatively add another villager to the pile. So Dino Dave, Ginger Fury, if you don't mind. Uh, yes, yes. Interesting, because I, I thought, oh, that's right. It's gonna be the final totem upgrade that gets the boost from the animals. I remember now. <laughs> All right, okay. Maybe we should have pivoted and worked on the fan first, but we're gonna just have to do what we can. Oh, look, a new baby! All right, totally bringing you into a safe, secure, beautiful land. Oh, 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 oh. You guys are playing with the bunnies? Is it? Oh, look at that! <laughs> And they brought some nature essence, thanking Mother Earth. Oh, that's really cute. They looked at the bunnies and they just were like, thank you for being so cute. See, 
So far, everyone's friendly, not stabbing each other. I don't have any criminals in need of yeeting into some sort of uh, prison that we don't yet understand the concept of. By carefully observing the grass that grew all around the field off-season, Pips were able to find new sources for hemp's and seeds. Yay! We need both! <laughs> so this is really useful because it gets plus two if there's a field within one. So I know to put that kind of close to where we have the fertile fields. And meanwhile, we do have a new child. Oh, and the birdies are kind of close too. See, everything is going to be just fine, Marumello. Welcome, welcome. You'll spend some days growing up and the heat threat looming over our heads is totally not going to be something that we need to panic about. Okay, but here's the question. Do we build up... Oh, we don't have any hemp. Okay. Do we research the fan first? Let's try researching the fan and see how long that takes. And then we'll research the mountain spring. And then we need to be prepared with some hemp when it's time to make the fan. So, plus two if a field is within one. Well, I know we're going to be building fields like here. I don't know if this one counts as a field um, right there. Probably not because that counts as like a plum, <laughs> a plum spot. But we'll go ahead and we'll put one of the collectors here. And then we'll put another field collector over here. Excellent, excellent. Glad to see that everybody is diligently employed somehow, somewhere. Uh, and everybody's named, right? Look at that, see? It'll be fine. We even still have room for one more baby at some point. <laughs> All right, good. Look at that, we already researched the fan. And plus, it's gonna be a heat omen, isn't it? So it's not like we even have the heat event happening right away or anything like that. And meanwhile, we have discovered the fan! Pimps designed these fans to provide a bit of cooling against the heat. Pretty ingenious, don't you think? I do think that is ingenious, and I think that it'll be interesting to see. So handymen do need to use it. Oh, there's a little crank and everything that's so cute in order for it to work. But the fan could lead to a large fan! <laughs> Larger fans were placed around the village, but some pips protested that they blocked the view of the sea. We were very far from the sea. Okay, that's hilarious. And you need a watcher to tend to that. So that's the first time that we've seen the watcher pop up in a bit. And since there are heat things that we're thinking about, I do think we should probably research the mountain spring, especially because we need water before we can plant the tomatoes or the chestnuts or have tilled soil. Um, interesting. So let's research the mountain spring and see if we can find water for our wonderful pips and also make sure that if any of them start catching on fire, we can have some water to put them out of fire. Oh, and our little plum tree is done for the season, I think. So at least we have another one. Yeah, we should probably make sure that we have some form of, uh, some form of, renewable food pretty soon because right now we're kind of going through our, our plums of prophecy somewhat quickly but again i'm sure it's going to be fine and the omen looming over our heads and our days is just gonna be a sunburn maybe which still would suck but still yay mountain spring these springs were ingeniously placed where the stone was leaking water to ensure that we could keep most of it from falling to the ground. Again, yay! <laughs> so that's the first little bit of water we'll be able to get. We can get double water right here, actually. Uh, and we can now also learn about the large spring. The larger fountains were hard to contain, so we made sure to put extra trays around them. Well, that sounds delightful. We could also research that. I think we will probably research that soon. For now, let's do the tomato field so we can start getting that going. <laughs> 
But all right, it shall be time to go ahead and have some of our pips begin to collect seeds to prepare for the tomato fields and perhaps another one of our pips to get ahead of these rumors of danger and despair by putting some fans out into this wide open field where clearly there's plenty of room and we don't have to have it like going whoop, 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 like some sort of really annoying thing while the villagers are trying to cool off. So we'll get that built. And clearly, everything is going to be just delightful. In fact, maybe we'll even get two of those fans built because we could do something like this, right? All right, let's see. And can I get another fan? Yes, look at that. Okay, we just need to have somebody. Boom, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that heat domain as though we're threatened by you. Pwah! But all right, we're getting, you know, a little bit pushy and assumptive about being able to accomplish this, no problem. But so far, everything's delightful. We have bunnies frolicking, fish flopping, birds bobbing, and it's just going to be a nice peaceful experience where things aren't going to immediately catch on fire or, you know, lava or something up here. Not at all. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Stay curious, everyone. <laughs>